time I just want to show you how to easily kill corrupted enemies. They are of course scattered across the land. I got a corrupted zone left here, but I'm working my way through the platinum. Yeah, should have done that earlier, but yeah, I also want to make sure that I got some content left for you guys. Anyway, these corrupted zones will of course disappear, but there will also be or always be corrupted enemies scattered around the world. So yeah, I will just show you how to easily kill them and there are two things that are very important one is your weapon uh, and that is that you need the hunter bow because yeah that brings me by the second thing they are always weak against fire corrupted enemies so you want to make them burn that will easily kill them so what I did in terms of modifications I went to my hunter's bow the shadow hunter bow is really easy to get you get it pretty early on in the game if you save up some coins some metal scraps uh, to buy it and then you just want to go over to your modifications and put as much fire modifications there as possible because this will mean that um, yeah you will shoot and they will burn like faster with the more fire modifications you use so I got them all like maxed out the yeah the best fire modifications I have of course maybe you're not as far in the game as me you will still have some fire modifications I'm sure then another important thing is that you will need the double shot that is really handy it it's not really needed per se but it really gives you an edge because if you shoot two f arrows at once they will easily burn then for my outfit i chose this outfit and that's really because one it looks pretty awesome it's the bonek sickness eater heavy um, but it already has some corruption like resistance and while I am not really a fan of corruption resistance because it really the corruption damage really happens only if you like stand in some sort of corruption or stuff that they leave and you're not really defended against the attacks they do as far as I know as far as in my experience but still I will just use it because it kind of makes sense and it yeah like I said it looks really awesome okay let's start because yeah I already got two arrows lined up you see this trampler here so with corrupted enemies they're of course harder to kill because their like challenge level is higher so normally for a trampler I think it's 15 and now it's 20 so let's line up two arrows there I can maybe shoot on the back but it will not really matter because he will instantly burn as you see over there but when I shoot one arrow that will not be enough and I will just try it on this long neck here See, it will not be enough. The two arrows should be. See, it does way more damage. Okay. Okay, got ar two arrows lined up, so you will. Ooh, I only hit one. See, you need two arrows, and that's why the double shot is really handy, because then with one, like, easy arrow, uh, with one hit, you will kill them. So they're now like running away because they're pretty smart, they know, okay, she's just going to stand there and kill us with fi flaming arrows. And yeah, that's exactly the, cha the, the like, tactic I have here. So I want to get down because, yeah, they will run away simply, but this guy should die with the burning damage. And okay, so this is of course, yeah, if you then go up to them you will get corruptive damage um, so let's see there's another one wanna make him burn and just wait till the like icon above his like health bar is over because if you keep shooting f flaming arrows <laughs> it doesn't really matter it will not like go be better or it will not like yeah take longer for them to get out of the burn you can really just wait or you really just have to wait before you can hit them again with flaming arrows and I think that that guy will just burn he will die but this guy still needs some more arrows like I said got two lined up just have to shoot him and now he will just burn so I can ignore him and focus on the other guys so there's just one or two tramplers left and as you can see I already hit see this one is like burning to death See, I already hit one with one, like, full burn, so he will just die, and I will just make sure that he will get another burn. After that, I, they're, like, they can't do anything, they will just burn. 
Okay, he needs, he needs one more. Okay, that's fine. And he needs another one as well, lining up two arrows. I think I need to dodge. Or just stand here, wait for him to die. You can of course still do damage, but it's actually really fun to, to watch them burn. <laughs> yeah, I think... Oh, he needs one more burn. And now he's dead. So yeah, that's how you do a Corrupted Zone. It was pretty easy, of course, this Corrupted Zone. If you, for example, compare it with um, Corrupted Zones with the Rock Breakers and with the uh, Behemoths, I will have a video up about them as well. So go watch them on the channel. But they're not up as of now, but they will be up soon. They are the most powerful enemies in the game. I already made a video about the most powerful machine in the game. And that's, of course, the... Just watch that video. You will see it then. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I just thought maybe you already knew this, but I thought it was still awesome to show you how they burn and how easy it can be if you know what to do.